Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And as you guys know, yesterday, the brand new city of Dark Mayor was released to old school RuneScape. And there's a few activities you can do. You can thief vampires, you can kill vampires, you can train runecrafting with mining. But most importantly, you can do this brand new agility minigame. Now, this agility is nothing like any other agility in the game. It actually requires quite a little bit of skill to complete, so that's why we're making this video. I'll try to demonstrate to you how to do all the traps, I'll show you where to save as much time as possible, and uh, I'll also show you some little bits that you probably didn't know about the game. Now the very first thing that you're gonna need when you come into this minigame, well you're gonna need some vampire dust, um, you're gonna need some planks and the corresponding nails. I personally use mahogany planks and rune nails, but you can also use tink planks with adamant nails, or oak planks with mithril nails, or normal planks with steel nails. So that's basically what you need in order to access the chest for potential loot. Alongside that you're also gonna need the runes. If you are a 93 magic, I recommend you just taking cosmics, soul runes and blood runes. If not, you basically need the different types of enchantments uh, just so you unlock that portal. Alongside that you're also gonna need lockpick and anti-poison is good to have if you want it. I personally don't take it because I go with hit points cape and region bracelet. Alongside that you're also gonna need a crossbow and a grapple. Personally I have a hallowed grapple because I think on that shortcut you lose the most of the most time. If you trade mysterious stranger he trades you a bunch of things that you can buy to improve your run in this minigame. However I don't have enough marks to do so at the moment. Um, as you can see, I also rock full graceful with ghost speak amulet because you can encounter a ghost once you enter the thingy. And I also have a ring of visibility, so I can speak to this king of the unicorn. Make sure you check it out yourselves if you haven't yet. Alongside that, I also have a Saradomen item. I prefer having a holy book so I can recharge my run energy after every level. I think with that out of the way, we are ready to go for a full run. Oh, another thing, you can investigate this skeleton. He is gonna give you a strange hallowed tome, and if you get the different types of pages in the minigame, you can attach them to this tome. And you need a hammer and a saw. I think I covered everything. Let's jump into the minigame. So in order to do this minigame, you need to have at least 52 agility. And then for every floor further you go in the minigame, you need 10 more levels. So for the floor 1, you need 52 agility. For the floor 2, you're gonna need 62, and so on, until last floor, where you need 92 agility to do it. And you will encounter a lot of traps on your way of doing this minigame. First one being these wizard statues, they blow fire, you need to dodge it. Then you have this statue throwing this massive Sara sword at you. You also need to dodge it. If you want to go and uh, mark the tiles that I have marked, I have done this for about 10 hours on the release, so I have it pretty much down at the moment. Now, this is my first run after waking up today, so I might be doing some mistakes. That's why I also have hallowed tokens in my inventory, so I can extend my trip for another minute. Um, and here you could see I could go for this grapple and take the loot, but that would take me a lot of time. You get less amount of loot on the very first floor, so I personally just skip it. If you wanna loot it, go ahead and loot it, I don't really care about that. Um, but as you can see, I just skipped that part because I don't think it's worth the time it takes in order to do it. Uh, once you make it to these stepping stones, it's very easy, and this is another type of the... Another type of the... Uh, the trap that can happen, and these guys can throw these um, these things at you. I might not be able to make it here, no I will. So here I could grapple again and go for the loot. Once again we're gonna try to preserve our time for this test run. If I do this off recording, I will most likely be going for the for the loots, but because I'm doing it on recording, I won't. On these traps, you can do a nice little method of stepping two tiles ahead of you. If you do that, you can actually skip a trap. So you can uh, you can click right in the middle and then right over, and unless uh, the trap is right in the middle, you're just gonna run straight through it. So as you can see, at this point, we have about two minutes spare. Uh, the run is looking fairly good. We once again activate the obelisk, and we go down. Um, here we have another situation where we have um, the things throwing. I just like to keep my eye on the middle one, uh, on all three of them actually, and here I could grapple again if I had a different room, but I didn't go for it. 
So basically you just keep an eye on who is about to fire, you check that animation, and then you step on the place where there is no animation, pretty much. That's how I do it. You can also just react to it, I guess. So right here you have a couple of chances. I can try to cheese it like this and teleport over right as it's coming back. Um, if not, you can just wait for the sword to be thrown and then run afterwards. So right here you see I'm going to go in the middle and then here I'm going to go left side. And then here I'm just going to try to sneak right here before I get shot. Boom, let's see. So here I can make this, uh, this frame and I am going to do it because we have a lot of time left. Boom, just like that. For that you need your runes, that's why we take the runes in the inventory. We loot it as soon as I see the red text. Boom, I'm already clicking. We got the rune plate body, which is fairly decent. So here we wait for, actually I could probably just go. There we go, so this trap right here guys, is where you can save the most time. Some people are really slow on this one. What I like to do, is I like to see where it's gonna be shot, and where the fires are. And boom, after the fires are gone, that is your safe spot. Look at this, I can run all the way here now. See, now this is gonna be my safe spot, right over here. And I need to step down because the two are coming from the upside. And as soon as this is gone, boom. You can save so much time here. A lot of people are really stuck into that one. Like they spend way too much time trying to complete this obstacle right here. Okay, we still have two minutes to spare. We should be able to complete this full run, hopefully with the time remaining. However, once I do reach the bottom floors, I do always go for the, uh, the loot because you get so many hollowed marks, it's not worth not to do it. So this one is pretty cool. You wait right until you see it, and then you can either go for teleports or you just run. I went for teleports there. And here we are gonna pay attention to the little throwing darts. So once again, use the double method where you step on the blue and then you go two up. Step on the yellow and then you go two up. Step on the blue here, two up, go right. And then here once again, use the two up method in order to dodge all the attacks, boom, and right here. Just like that, very nice. So here you have a couple of options. I'm firstly gonna try to just wing it, but they sometimes attack all of, the, all of them attack at the same time. However, I am just swinging it right now. If they attack here, yeah, they all attack. So it is what it is, that's totally fine. But yeah, as I can say, first they attack all of them at the same time, but then they create the safe zones that you can basically click, click to. So once there's fire, that's your safe zone basically, right? So I do it in three ways. These red markers are indicating that for me. Um, and here we have one more of the thing. You can click before and then two over, and you're never gonna be teleported. So just keep that in mind. You can do that very easily. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Boom, just like so. Go straight in the middle. You can once again do two over method, and you're gonna run straight over. So here I need to pay some attention. It's right in the middle, no problem at all. We don't need to make this frame. We still have three minutes remaining. This is a pretty good run, judging by the fact that I am live recording it. Um, because often uh, when I live record, I don't focus that well. So we're gonna wait for this big blue Sara sword to actually come back at us. And then we're just gonna run. Boom, we're gonna go here, we're gonna go up. And just keep an eye on where it's spawning. So here I need to go diagonally. And then here, you just pay attention. Here I need to go in the middle, up. And then straight right here, no mistake whatsoever. And we run right here. Once again, using the two-click method, where we just go right over it. And this time, we are going to sacrifice here. We have a lot of time to spare. And we have three um, hallowed coins, or whatever those are, in order for me to be able to comfortably loot this chest. Once again, I wait for the red thing inside my chat box, and I instantly click back. So I lose as little time as possible. There we go. I only have one stamina potion, which is... I forgot to take it. You usually don't need it, but if you don't take full graceful, you sometimes might need it. We still have two minutes remaining and technically three more minutes in the token. So five more minutes for the last round should be very easy. Unless I really choke it since it's my first run of the day. But once again, you are looking at the wizards that are not moving. Uh, or you can just try to mark the tiles that I have marked. Now on the upper floors, you do have some different possibilities. And here you just want to use the portals. Here you go on this one, then you go on this. Oh, I fucked it. I might have failed this one. Yeah, um, I thought I would still get teleported. So that's the first mistake of the run, but it's gonna happen. If you do this, you will make mistakes. Mistakes are totally normal. So here we're gonna run straight for that one if I can reach it. And then straight into this corner right here to get right past it. Perfect. 
And we still have three minutes, technically six minutes left to spare to complete this run. Um, we will have to make this portal probably right here. No, it's not available. Okay, so let's pay attention. So now it's gonna be in the middle. And we do, once again, we go for the double method. And then we go here, and then we go here, and then we go right, and then we go two over, one right in the middle, left, up, right here, and then right here. Perfect. We still have three minutes to spare, and let's see how this goes. So right here, I just mark a couple of them, and then I see which ones the fire has been on. So now I can go right here, because the fire was right here. I clicked a little bit too late, that's okay. Mistakes will happen. So now I can go here, as the fire was right there. And then I'm gonna go right here, as the fire was just there. And now I'm gonna just click straight right here, as soon as it's over. Here I like to do it like that, boom, 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 and bam. And once again here I keep my eye on the fire, you see this one right here? Just like so. And then it's gonna be right here, just like so. And then we are gonna go right here. So you basically keep an eye on the wizards and see what they do, right? And then here we're gonna try to cheese the... Ah, no, I failed it, I failed it. Uh, here you can try to cheese this by waiting for it to be thrown. You wait for it to be thrown and then you can um, just teleport. I'm gonna wait here. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. So the next teleport right here. Boom, and now we go. Just like that. So you basically need to teleport over it. We still have a minute and 50 to spare. I am going to go for this loot because I have three uh, minutes left in my inventory. And now the last floor is the more most challenging. If you don't make it on time, that's fine. It's all about the practice. Once you get the practice down, you will stop failing the bottom floor and you can do it. Even if I fail in this video, that doesn't matter, I have done it in time, I'll show you guys the proof, but I'm live commentating this one, so mistakes do happen when you live commentate because you can't focus on things as much as you would like to. But once again, we are using the double method right here. And then we go right, and then we do the double method over this one, then we go left, double method. Uh, but if you go on blues, it's fine, but they tend to sometimes really confuse me. Double method, and now we go straight in the middle, double method right here, we check, it's double method, and then we go right here. Just like so, and now we're on the last stretch. I am gonna use one token for extra minute, just so I don't panic, and let's go right here. Boom, left, and now, fires are safe spots. So, you see this? As soon as this happens, boom, I go right here, that's a safe spot for me. And now I wait, and now I go right here in the middle, boom, straight through, you can save so much time here, you guys have no idea. Boom. Keep an eye on the arrows. The arrows are what you need to dodge. You can take this slowly if it's your first time. If it's not your first time, you should probably still take it slowly. I'm taking it a bit fast right now and I don't really have to, but we are doing it. Just like so. We go to the left here. Taking it a bit slowly. Just like so. I fucked it. Okay, uh, yeah, live commentary fucks me, that's fine, we still have a minute, minute is more than enough to do this, come on, let me not choke on the live recording, that'd be really awkward, okay, boom, boom, left, boom, right, boom, boom, right, two up, left, one more right, two up, middle, boom, right, double method, middle, wait for fires, one backwards because I choked, one forward, one forward, and now we're gonna go. And just like that, I need to click this to get time, Ooh, I was six seconds left. Let's see what loot we get from this one. I was six seconds left there. I almost didn't click it in time, but just like that, it was actually my first try in the morning. I did need two minutes more because I was commentating, but I have done this without. Um, I have done this without the, the the hallowed tokens. But in order to do it, I cannot loot the top sides. So basically, if I go straight for only the last chest. I can actually do it in time, 
but if not, I cannot do it. But however, I do hope this gave you a little bit of an insight of how you can complete this run. So right here we have it paused, 30 seconds to spare, and this should be my second time completing this run. Yesterday I've done it right before I went to bed, and this is my first run right in the morning, and we're gonna be uploading this. We got three marks, and as you can see, we have completed this twice. I do hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I do hope I could help some of you guys complete this run. But even then, I do think they might make this a little bit easier. Reaching 75k XP doing this feels almost impossible. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if that helped you. Let me know in the comments if I missed something. I'm gonna be pinning it. Remember, this is new content. I could be missing some important information that you guys might know and I might not know. So let's help each other out. Let's be a community. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be seeing you again very, very soon with another one. Have a good one and bye-bye.